नमस्ते इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू डू फ्लूट सिमुलेशन एंड हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट योर फ्लूट सिमुलेशन डाटा इन टू एम एस एक्सएल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल मेक द जोमेट्री ऑफ अवर फ्लूट सिमुलेशन now this is venturi meter just you know replica of duplicate thing uh, the main name of this tutorial is just to show how to do simulation and how to export your fruit simulation data into ms excel so now go to here and select add ins after that move downwards and select solid works fruit simulation click okay now go to fluid simulation select uh, create lids uh, the purpose of using create lids is that uh, to tell the solid works where the fluid is coming and where the fluid is going when i will do when i will define boundary conditions you will understand what it means click okay now click on check geometry analysis analysis type is internal type click on check now it shows a successful geometry is okay analysis type fluid internal and fluid volume and solid volume okay now click cancel after that select wizard okay first we need to save it let's save it to uh, mk you can say whatever you want uh, enter the project name and comments as per your requirement uh, select the unit as in your country in india there is uh, normally use nmm but for international purposes we use mkgs uh, if you are fo from you know from england side or something else so at the fps system is used that is pound foot pound and seconds in america it is inch pound per inch pound seconds so you can choose as per your requirement then you can also change the units of your pressure for example bar millimeter at atmospheric whatever you know you want to use you can use there and you, you can increase the you know decimal units as per your requirement uh, after selecting all this click on next our fluid simulation type is internal type so we do, don't need to check on external just simply click on internal exclude cavities i assume that the uh, the body on which i am going to do fluid simulation there is no cavities so that's why i am cl clicking on exclude cavities now there is no heat conduction solids in my case because i'm going to use water as a medium there is no radiation is going to happen there is no time dependent there is no gravity and there is no rotation in my case now here is the reference axis x axis as you can see this axis and the axis of line so reference axis x axis select the reference axis as per the fluid flowing direction click next now click on liquids select water you can add any other liquid or air or any other things as per your requirement now is there cavitation in your uh, geometry if yes enter the dissolved gas mass fraction but in my case there is no because i'm using water so i'm not going to check it you can add any other fluid as per your requirement click on add just you will get the another fluid 
now click next default thermometer roughness 0 micrometer i am there is no roughness but in reality we all know that there is roughness but just for uh, i am assuming that is ideal condition now click next uh, higher this value of the scale higher is the accuracy i am just uh, taking to 3 because it will solve the simulation quickly and the results is good not very high good or accuracy but it is just good and then click on finish now go to boundary condition right click on it insert boundary condition there are two ways of selecting a face make sure you always select inside uh, now right click on this select other now select this if you see properly i am selecting inside the face now go to insert mass volume enter the enter the insert mass flow you can just you can also select insert volume flow in, inlet velocity whatever you want as per your requirement if you think that no i don't want constant supply i want something you know formula definition so just click on formula definition, enter the formula as per your requirement and it will solve it but in my case it is constant similarly if, if you think your flow is not constant it is varying along x table so enter the value it will make a full, uh, full chart so you can do whatever you want but in my case it is just uniform now move now move downward you will see thermodynamic parameter that is 300 so my fluid that is coming is 300 you can also change the temperature as per your requirement here you see the tables so you can change the temperature of your fluid that temperature is varying with time etc so you just click on here and change the parameter as per your requirements and then click ok now right click on the boundary condition select insert boundary condition wait a minute i will show you the dif next different method to select the inside surface click ok now right click on bonding condition click on insert boundary condition select this face go to pressure opening select environment pressure click ok now in this manner you can select ins inside of the surface now right click on goals select surface goals select this surface here you see static pressure total pressure it is minimum average maximum bulk or bulk average similarly many other things so basically my main concern is total pressure average so click on it now double click on it sorry just right click on it and sorry right click on it and properties name it as inlet click ok now right click on goals select surface goals select the surface similarly select average now right click on it select insert equation goals move downward select outlet minus inlet ok then click on check here we get the equation goal now let's make a new thing select the top plane and draw a straight line After drawing line, click escape. Now, go to flow, flow simulation. Select transparency. Increase it to up to 88 yeah, or 90, whatever you want. After that, click on run. Click on run. now it will show the various type of graphs as you can see here it shows how the pressure varies from inlet to outlet
here is the number of iterations doing now our solution is done click on close now go to result select xy plot click insert select this line select all move downwards click on show here you will get all the graphs now a question is how to export the data now close it select export to excel now here you will get the graph data now to see all the data just move forward forward here you see the plot data here you will get the all the data you can use this data as your thesis okay some will say hey okay it's good but i want that this data is much more you know larger quantity it is very small so just go to resolution announce your resolution after that click on show now it will make a new fully new uh, you know excel sheet and it will contain more data uh, from the previous one now you can see it contains more data than the last time so in, similarly you can increase your resolution and you will get more accuracy now let's see other things now let's plot cut plot right click on cut plot select the plane on which you want click on counter vector streamlines mesh uh, just uncheck mesh click ok here you see how does it works right click on cut plot click on play here you see how does it works now right click on it click stop now right click on it click hide now let's see how does the flu flow right click on insert select this face after that this place now select line let like select arrows make this point 0002 it become very small now enter the value here is uh, 150 you can change as per the comment Uh, larger the number of value larger uh, larger yeah, larger will be the resolution and uh, larger number of particles will be there click okay here you see the size because of small size now move downwards right click on for it click play as you can see it's moving now but is very small so it is very difficult to see that so we will go, go to click edit definition instead of point just remove a single zero that will be enough now you see now right click on it now click play here you see now it is basically showing pressure how does the pressure change some of us say hey but i want to show my sir what how what is the velocity impact now just click on the pressure now select velocity click okay now it now it is not showing the velocity how does the velocity change across the path similarly you can select density velocity x add another pa parameter as per your requirement temperature or anything else uh, i hope you like this tutorial Uh, one more two more thing before i end this tutorial someone will say hey i want to make the report of this so don't do much hard work just click on report it will generate a report for all this simulation what you just need to do is uh select the current image on top of whatever excel sheet you know we we already make select all this thing and you can make a report from this click on close so it is very easy and useful for you uh, i hope you like this tutorial please like and subscribe this tutorial to motivate us thanks for watching have a great day